Number 10, mobile website. Boy, please don't overlook your, your mobile website. It's absolutely critical. I've seen well up to 70% of visitors coming in through mobile. And so often we, we're looking at a desktop because we're in the office, but you have to be looking at your mobile website. And I would, I mean, I see a lot of mobile websites that have the number. And if you press on the number, you can call. I like to just dumb it down even more and, and put like, click to call and put a little, uh, I, I have an example for you in a few slides down, but just try to dumb it down because not everyone knows if you press the number that it, then the number shows up and then you can call. You might be thinking, oh, give me a break. You're kidding me, right? It's like, come on, you deal with customers. You meet all sorts of people and there's some people that they just don't know that. So, hey, number 11, I'm a fan of live chat. I think live chat is great. Again, there's people that they're sitting on the computer. They don't want to talk to someone, especially the younger generation. They'd much rather just text and do the live chat kind of a thing. So if you could do that, go for it. Take advantage of that. And don't be intimidated with live chat. I've, I've explained this to a lot of owners. Like the last thing they want, because we've all experienced it, is there's a live chat on a website, but then no one responds. And that's usually the biggest fear of owners. How it works is you, you plug it into a website and when your scheduling person comes in or when you're able to answer the phone, that's when you log in. And at the end of the night is when you log out. On occasion, yeah, if there's only one person in your office and, and they're the person doing the phone and the live chat, a lot of times they could do both because you could respond to somebody. You could also do like an auto response initially, like, you know, how can I help you? Thanks for, thanks for visiting. What questions do you have? I would encourage you to do it. You're just going to pick up a little bit more. It's all these little things again, just think in little terms, little terms. You kind of try to break out of like old school and thinking, hey, my phone number's up there. If they want me, they'll call me. It's all these little things that add up that will give you just more percentages here and there. All right, number 112. Number 12, give clients the option to book online. So more and more people are putting a calendar on their website and you just tie it to a Google calendar. There's, we provide a software to our clients who want that. It works really well. And some people really like it. I always have several coaches and one of my coaches, he, he, he said, oh, I had waterproofing done. I'm like, oh, who'd you go with? He said, I went with a company that I was able to book online because I didn't want to talk to anybody. It's like, oh, okay, there you go. You know, they got a job because they offered a schedule online. Uh, number 13, site speed really does matter. If, and it's something that your, your agency or your company or you needs to pay attention to. If there's a load, there's there's a long load time. Again, I mentioned it before. We, we have a certain amount of ADD. We're going to move on. We've all been on mobile websites where we're, we're like, okay, I think it's going to load. It's, and then we're like, screw this. Like, forget it. I'm going to go. Let me go back. There's an, okay. Oh, here's the site. It loaded right away. Like that other search that you're waiting, that company no longer exists. Like it, it blew its chance. It had its three to five seconds and poof, it's gone. Like the person's not going to go back to that one. So make sure your website loads fast on desktop and mobile. You can go to Google page insights. It's a free tool. Just drop your URL in, hit enter, Wait about 30 seconds and it will give you a score of one to 100. 